Some of the projects that you're going to be looking to build will require you to cut a wider board than you're able to cut on your miter saw. So I'd like to show you a couple tips on how to make that cut using the saw that you already have. I've made my reference line. I'm gonna place my board directly against the saw and then line up the teeth of my blade against the cut line that I've drawn. I'll make that cut. And then keeping the board in place, I'm going to grab a reference block, place that directly against the edge of my board, and then clamp that into place to hold it nice and secure. I'm gonna flip my board over, and then for safety reasons, I'm actually going to remove my block. This will help prevent the blade from binding up when you finish that cut. Now my blade should be directly in line. And when I make that cut, you don't wanna go all the way to the end of your board. You just wanna cut off enough material to finish off that cut. Now, if your board is long or your cut is too long to be able to reference that fence, there's another thing that we can do. I'm going to make my cut line. And again, line up my blade directly to that cut line. Going to remove my board, flip it over, take my speed square and draw a line directly in line with the part that I just cut. So now when you return your board back to the saw, you line up the teeth of your blade on the line you drew, and you finish off that cut, giving you a nice straight board. Another way to make a cross cut in a wider dimension board is by using a circular saw with a straight edge guide. Before we get into that, there's a couple things I want to take note of. One is supporting the board. I'm using a piece of two inch foam insulation that's going to allow me to support the board that I'm cutting into as well as protecting uh, my tabletop so I'm not cutting into that. I'll actually be cutting into the foam. Before I do that, I do want to make sure that the depth of my blade is around an eighth inch to a quarter inch below the surface of my wood and that's actually going to cut directly into my uh, two inch rigid foam piece. So, first thing that we're going to do is when we make our mark, we're going to make our mark on the front edge of the board. I'm gonna get it out to 24 inches and make the mark, again, in a visible spot right at the front. I'm gonna take my 12 inch speed square, line that up on the board so it's flush against this edge, take my circular saw and line up the blade against the mark that it cut on the front edge of my board kind of needing to do that both at the same time. So when we line that up, we want to make sure that we're not starting the blade in the wood. So I'm actually going to back the saw up, turn on the saw, and finish my cut. And now I've got a nice straight cut and a wide board. Another tool that you can use to make a cross cut on a wide dimension board is a track saw. Track saw is gonna be a little bit different than what we just went through because the straight edge and the support is integrated directly into the track. So, how we're gonna start this cut off is we're gonna be taking our 12 inch speed square and we're gonna make our mark across the entire width of the board. That's going to give us a reference line that we're going to be cutting against, but before we put our track on, I do wanna place a piece of scrap on the other side so that my track isn't tipping up as I make that cut. So we're gonna take our track, line it up directly over the line that we just drew, and we're gonna be cutting on that line. Take our track saw, place it directly on our track. So before you start, you do wanna make sure that the blade is going to plunge just in front of the wood. We'll turn it on and make our cut. And now, we have a nice straight cross cut and a wide dimension board. With that, we've shown you three different tools that you can use to make cross cuts in wide dimension lumber.